Welcome back to Insanity Crafts. In this video, we will be building the cocoa bean farm that you see directly in front of us. Now, it's not the most practical, but I thought I'd try something different. Let's get to the video, let's get to the building, and enjoy. What, what I am showing you right now is the framework for the cocoa beans. And inside this chest is some of the materials needed. Of course, not including the press plates that are the reason there's press plates is this system is going to be water flowed, so those are to stop the water from going backwards and also to make it, you know, go forward. The there will be I packed ice under there, so it's slide. Now I'm going to quickly I'm going to put the packed ice underneath each of the pressure plates. I forgot to do that. Or I place the pressure plates. Now that all of the ice space, let's get to some of the redstone. We'll be grabbing glowstone some sticky pistons, jungle wood, repeaters, and redstone. The sticky pistons with a single block, connecting that to redstone, going over to a repeater, and keep repeating this till we get to the end with a two block gap in between each of the sticky pistons. Just like that. Then we will place uh, the sticky pistons, four tall. And after you place the sticky pistons, you will need to grab your glowstone, place the first one touching the middle, so on top of the redstone dust. And with glowstone's logic, you they can go through blocks, so that signal will just interact all four of them and now i'm just confirming with a test by doing the signal to make sure it works Now that one side is fully, almost fully made, the other sides shall be sped up, just to speed things up, and yeah. Now that both sides are pretty much almost done, we will place. go ahead and place the water. 
where I also realized I forgot to put pack ice in the front. Right here. Not sure why I put it in my offhand, but whatever. We got the water flows. The test it goes there. So I can make it all the way to the end. Right here would be the hoppers. I'm going to place the chest first. Eight offers because it's going out two times. Just in case, even though the server doesn't allow that much of an overflow, I'll still have it. Now, just place the jungle logs onto the sticky pistons. I like placing them vertically, but it doesn't really matter. Now that all the jungle logs are placed, I went ahead and started collecting the glass that I thought would have all been smelted by now, but turns out I didn't have enough coal. So I go ahead and buy some more. And no, this is nowhere near enough. To finish up. But it's a good start. We will place the glass right here. All the way up. As this is the way to, this is our prevention for. Drop the, so the cocoa beans don't fly out. And this is a test to see if all of the pistons are fully uh, properly connected. And from the looks of it, they are. And as I had barely any cocoa beans to start, I went ahead and started, well, using it. Now, the server does have a
growth thing when you shift when you crouch so I make you know, take full advantage of that with this so I think I'll be showing in a moment Now from this point, the farm is pretty much done. Just, this is the bare bones, so you can choose to decorate it however you want. You want to put, for example, I put trap doors in the front, so like, just in case. Doesn't fully block them, but it blocks me from going in. It's just a thing. I thought the best with the green, and as you just witnessed the particle smoke, that happens when there are too many entities dropped on the server. Meaning, I can only use one side at a time and let all the cocoa beans drop into the hoppers. So, I just lost like half of what was actually would have been given. But, now we know. Hope you enjoyed, and... See you in the next, yeah, hope you enjoyed.